Hi, it's Menno, your one and only very homosexual, super duper gay man. Ooh. In September, there were a number of different women's rights events around the world, some that I attended myself. And every time the trans activists or the gender mafia or TRAs, whatever you want to call them, would show up to either silence, intimidate, or drown these women out. <laughs> I saw it myself in the Netherlands and in Ireland, but it also happened in the UK, in Canada, in New Zealand, in the States, and all just within the one month. It's as if these TRAs are intent on showing their unhinged, crazy as true colors wherever women decide to speak. And I see your true colors shining through. Let's have a look at what they served up in this TRA. September special. The first one was in Utrecht in the Netherlands. This was the first ever Dutch Let Women Speak, organized by Carolina and Lydia. This is Lydia, one of the organizers. Say hello, hello to the people of Twitter. Hello, people of Twitter. <laughs> and who are you? Uh, I'm a turf. You are not just any turf. Not just any turf. I'm a very insufferable turf. Because <laughs> I tell everybody, women don't have penises. Oh, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Women don't have penises. I mean, it's crazy. It even needs to be said, but here we are. It was a beautiful day. Lots of people out enjoying the sunshine, completely unaware of what was about to happen. And then they came. Okay, here they come. Look at that. Respect my queer homies or I'm going to identify as a fucking problem. The police is going to stop them. Let's see if that works. Oh, here we go, straight away. There's trouble. And then this guy says, Do you want to get a beating? To the police! But the police wasn't having any of it. And that was the start of a rather noisy afternoon. Okay, the horses are freaking out. What a crowd! And then the barricades came down. Oh look, scuffle with the police. Oh, there goes the barricades! Fucking hell. They were simply overflowing with love and kindness. They had some lovely signs. Kill yourself. Death to turfs. This guy tried to blind us with his mirror. I asked the police to take it off him, but they said that they wouldn't because they didn't want to escalate the situation. But the women were undeterred, and so they spoke. And ended the event on a high. Power to the women. Power to the women. Women got the power. Women got the power. Sisters, you can hear me. Sisters, you can hear me. We're headed stronger by the hour. Stronger by the hour. The very next day, things kicked off in the UK. Human rights organization Sex Matters had booked a private room at the People's History Museum to talk about the law. During their meeting, TRAs gathered outside, made lots of noise and chalked threats on the pavement. Adult human female. Noun. Fascist scum. Hi, we're Helen and Maya. We are scum. The only good fascist is a dead fascist. It was enough for the museum to close its doors, although someone did hang up a progress flag inside to show support with the TRAs. Once they'd finished, they wanted to spend some time looking at the exhibits in the museum, but they were told to leave early and via the back door. And that's when this happened. They even personalized the chants. They had to be driven away by the police for their own safety, with the siren on. That's just a group of women trying to walk down the street, in a city where supposedly everyone is welcome. And just because Helen and Maya were smiling in those videos doesn't mean that what happened was okay, or that they were okay with it. Afterwards, 
Helen wrote this. That was obviously partly bravado, but also a feeling of incredulity at the sheer ridiculousness of the whole thing. They've now taken it up with the police. Okay, next, Ireland. On the 16th, I was in Dublin for Let Women Speak, this time organized by the one and only Kelly J. Keane, aka Posey Parker. Good morning from Dublin, Ireland. Right, Kelly J has just started. It's a big crowd today. TRAs were posting about us having a terrible turnout, but this is a picture I took to give you an idea of the crowd. It was a good turnout for the TRAs as well. Here they are on their way and, as per usual, chanting about Nazis. Nazis on your side! And listen to this girl. Thankfully, there was a lot of police. There's, there's quite a bit of a, a buffer zone in between us, as you can see, with police. And then we're all the way over there. And they're doing their thing over here. Listen to them. Lesbians don't have penises! So now they're saying... There's more of us than you. This is the oppressed minority that says there's more of us than you. There were quite a few communist flags, and here's a trans sign with Lenin's face on it. The man who established a brutal dictatorship in the Soviet Union that put people in concentration camps and saw around 8 to 10 million people killed. So, Nazis, bad. Lenin, good. And isn't it ironic? Here's a sign saying the F in turf means fascist. But the best sign to really make a case for their movement has to be this one. Suck my trans balls! No, thank you. That's not a civil rights movement. That's an uncivilized movement. Anyways, all went well. Thank you, police. And about 18 women spoke over the course of an hour and a half. Meanwhile, across the pond... On the very same day, Women's Declaration International held their second national convention in San Francisco. What? Women? Speaking? Quick! Send in the clowns! Well, the circus most definitely came to town and they blocked off a junction. I mean, at this point it's so predictable. So, here's a sign saying, Turfs are fascists. Someone screaming about Nazis. You're a fucking Nazi! Getting a little overexcited. Here's a guy spitting on the Hilton sign, which was later vandalized with a hammer. Stunning and brave person going, Does my bulge look big in this? Lots of people flipping the bird and making obscene gestures. All in the name of love, of course. And a guy with a thing for the genocide of women. And then accusing women of being genocidal. And isn't it ironic? These people are obsessed with death. Here, death before detransition. Megan Murphy and Kay Yang were up on a higher level, but somehow the TRAs got up there and just went after them. Yo, get out, just get back. Stop, get back. Get back. Stop, get back. Get back. Get out here! Megan and Kay managed to get away. Apparently the hotel manager got punched, one man was arrested and three police officers got injured. That same day a feminist exhibition opened, the kind of feminist who know what a woman is, so of course the TRAs had to deface the windows and also leave another ball-sucking message on the sidewalk. Two days later there was a lesbian rally outside San Francisco City Hall, so naturally angry man came to scream and shout. Hello, San Francisco! We are so happy to be here to stand up for lesbians! No Turks! No KKK! No fascist USA! No Turks! No KKK! No fascist USA! No fascist USA. 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 
Not easy to speak in those circumstances, but here's one of the lesbians calling it out for what it is. And here's a female TRA showing how gender affirmation literally scars women's bodies. I just want to give a shout out to my friend Joey, who was brave enough to walk right among the TRAs. Here you can see her being shouted at by one of the TRAs. And this is the footage that she captured herself. Real lesbians love trans women. USA. No trans. Real lesbians love trans women. Okay, next stop, New Zealand. On Wednesday, the 20th of September, women gathered to speak in St. Patrick's Square in Auckland. This was the day of the pre-trial hearing of the man who poured tomato juice over Kelly J. Keane and another woman back in March. He now faces two charges of common assault, which he denies. On the 20th, his lawyer asks for the case to be dismissed. The judge will come back with a decision on this on the 26th of October. So the women who never got to speak back in March chose this day to finally have their say. And of course, the TRAs couldn't stay away. Just look at the number of police necessary at an event like this. And the TRAs are just trying to push through them. But the women spoke. And how? A woman is born and not born. These are our words. They are not your words. They will never be your words. Because if you want to pretend that you are a woman, that is up to you. But if you want me to pretend Unfortunately, on the very same day, TRAs did manage to get an event shut down in Canada. On the 20th of September, dozens of One Million March for Children protests took place across Canada to object against the teaching of gender ideology in schools. We saw people march in Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, Calgary, Vancouver and many other places. So these are different from the women's rights rallies, as these focus on the rights of parents. But obviously, they share the same goal of keeping kids safe from all this stuff about, oh, you might have been born in the wrong body. They gathered on the lawn outside the parliament buildings, and it looks like they're all sort of mixed together, the, the protesters and the counter-protesters, as in the TRAs. And there was only a flimsy bit of tape keeping a, an area clear around the stage where the speakers were. Here's Serena Winterburn, the MC for the event, extending a warm welcome to everybody there, including the trans activists. I'm gonna take this moment to say welcome beautiful souls, every one of you. Welcome to our LGBTQ plus two, our trans activists, welcome. Thank you for coming out and joining us as we have welcomed every community to be here and a part of what we are speaking. We recognize that we can do this together, but we must be willing to hear each other. We must be willing to say we will do more than shout. We will come to the table and we invite our trans communities to the table. Come, let us weave your rights in while we preserve our rights that we have fought so hard. But the TRA is still stuck to their usual chants. Trans folks go home! Trans folks go home! We speak, and that is for the purity of our children. Fuck you, fascists! Fuck you, fascists! And none of this would be complete without a sign referencing death or suicide. Tensions began to rise when a TRA walked into the safe zone and started taunting people with a sign that said, Trans kids matter. She refused to leave when asked, even by the police. Just kept coming back with a sign and shouting at the crowd. 
and was joined by others. Police didn't seem to do much about it at all. She's arguing with people and it's getting rowdy. By the time Megan Murphy gets to speak, things are pretty tense and the TRAs are booing her. I, as a woman, should not be afraid for my safety and survival when speaking in public about women's sex-based rights and about basic biological facts, but I am. Halfway through a speech, a TRA is wrestled to the ground and the police decide that they can no longer keep the crowd safe, so they tell the organizers to shut down the rally. We're being asked to shut down. I know. By whom? It's by the police. By the police who are telling us about so much violence that's happening out in front of the state. Turn it off, or I'm walking over there right now. And so it ends, and the march is called off. The TRAs hang around for another 40 to 50 minutes, shouting things like, Turfs go home. So this is cancel culture at its maximum. Megan later tweeted, the trans activist terrorists won. They rushed the stage and the cops had to shut down the entire event halfway through my speech because it was too dangerous for us to continue. Meanwhile, Justin Trudeau, Canada's Prime Minister, denounced the One Million March for Children rallies as manifestations of hate. And of course, he's not talking about the TRAs, but the likes of Serena and Megan. And that's why we call it Trenida. Okay, time for a recap. You're not welcome here, you're not wanted here. I love the Oh, can Yo, get out! Just get back! Stop! Get back! There's one thing that's pretty clear from all this, and I think Cindy Lauper sums it up quite well. I do hope that seeing so much of it in just the one month around the world shows how these trans activists aren't fighting for human rights, but they're fighting against them that they're waging a worldwide campaign that's based on intimidation, subjugation, harassment, but most of all, the demonization of women, just so they can justify their own foul behavior, even calling for death. That's not what the right side of history looks like. And it's about time that the authorities wisen up to that because they've been letting them get away with way too much for way too long. But the most important thing to take away from this video is that despite the hatred and despite the abuse and the relentless nature of it, women keep going. They keep organizing. They're doing it more often and in more places. And I thank them for it. Okay, we had a bit of Cindy Lauper early on in this video. We just had some. So let's wrap it up with another one of her songs, probably her most well-known one. And then I shall see you in the next video. Until then, keep it real and keep smiling. Take it away, Cindy. Ciao. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful or informative and you'd like to help me make more videos, please consider supporting me via PayPal or Patreon. And thank you so much to everybody who already does that. That means that I can go to the Netherlands and Ireland and then report back to you. Special shout out to my sugar daddies and my fairy godmothers and a big massive thank you to my big spenders. Help her open, Mama Turv and the Turventines, the lovely Mary, me Julie, Julia, 
Lindy Lou from Down Under, Dusty, and Esther. Thank you.